What's up guys, Jordan Thomas here, and today we're going to be talking about how to run a sub six minute mile. The secret to getting ahead is getting started, and one of the first things you're going to do is to run a time trial. Now, I've run the mile before, so I felt very comfortable going out into the track, taking four laps around, plus nine meters, just to get an idea of where I was at. I got out there, first quarter mile, I was gassed. On the second lap, I almost even ran into somebody. So by the time I finished, I came through in the six minutes, 15 seconds. I was feeling kind of down on myself, but I knew. I had eight weeks to do one thing, and I was dropped 15 seconds. The next thing you want to do is establish a routine. I knew that over the next eight weeks, I would be able to average about 30 miles a week, which would work out most weeks to five or six workouts uh, per week. In terms of a sample week, I'd make sure that I'd have two quality workouts, either running at mile pace or beneath it. I'd have two easy runs, running about eight minutes and 30 seconds pace, and one long run, ranging between six miles and 10 miles. Also managed to mix in some hills during the earlier part of this training. Keep in mind, variety is the spice of life and training plans. One of the things that I realized once I went into mile training, I spent a lot of time during my 5K season pretty much only running two paces, either really easy or at 5K pace, where the mile demands a number of different systems. I'm not, not only do I need to be aerobic, so I had to you know, run longer distance, but I needed to run anaerobic, which is a lot more like the powerful VO2 max type stuff. Stuff that I'm actually pretty comfortable with, I just haven't done it in a very long time. Also recognize it turns out I was running the easy runs too fast and running the harder runs not fast enough. And also make sure to mix in some hills. You do not forget the fundamentals. On your quality days, make sure that you have a proper warm up and a cool down. Clean to get your muscles warmed up, get ready for the, you know, for the, for the high intensity workout cool down is going to help you speed up your recovery. And also, be sure to include drills and strides. The race day strategy is pretty simple to say, but it's a little bit difficult to pull off. So you want to start off your first quarter mile about two to three seconds slower than your ideal mile pace. Coming into the second quarter mile, you'll then start picking it up and be at your uh, mile goal pace. The third quarter mile, you'll want to be able to repeat what you did in the second. And for that fourth quarter mile is when you want to kick it on home. Now, when it came to the Brooklyn Mile, after going through my 15 minutes or so warming up drills and whatnot, when that gun went off, I was out. I got out at about a minute, 19 seconds. I was just on the edge of out of control, but not out of breath. And when I went past the 800 meter mark, I saw the clock read two minutes, 52 seconds. So I was able to compose myself and come, and come in a little bit slower. And so when I got to the three quarter mark, Saw that it said four minutes and 22 seconds. And from that point, it would just get on my toes and kick it on home. And so I was proud to finally break six minutes and come through in five minutes and 42 seconds for a personal best and a hell of a way to start the 5K season. So please be sure to leave me some comments. I'd love to hear from you, whether or not you're you know, right on the edge of breaking six minutes or what are the type of uh, workouts that you've done in order to break that. And I'll see you next time. Please be sure to give me a like, Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Jordan Thomas, peace.